You're listening to the The Morning After podcast. What'd you get into yesterday, Kyle? Um, I went to a game night. I dominated. You were, I was at that game night. So you can back me up. I dominated. You dominated a little bit. We played, you ever played Mafia? I mean, I think a long time ago. You don't like games? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing game nights. It was a game Tuesday. What is what was last night? Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. It was a Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah. What was the game night? Who was there? Let's do a little name dropping. You sure? You come on, drop the heat. Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah. <laughs> Why are you doing game night? Because I've seen photos of you out. Now you got photos of Oprah Winfrey and you. Bro, let me tell you something. You're out there running around the Emmys. <laughs> yeah, okay. We out here. You kicked hey. me like that and you pulled Oprah like that. No, Jake, you never wanted to. That's fair. That's <laughs> fair. <laughs> Jake, if but I, I was wasn't ever... invited. No, if shut up. If I've ever been invited to something, the odds, Jake, there have been television shows <laughs> that I have been offered. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're our first offer. called yeah. Jake. He's like, it's not true, man. <laughs> Got the offer sitting in front of me. Uh, wait, no, but you said you froze when you saw Oprah. I did freeze when I saw Oprah. Did you really? I, what the? What do you want me to do? I know you as a pretty smooth guy. You think? Listen. I do? I thought, I thought I'd be fine yeah. in front of Oprah, yeah. honestly. Okay. But I, I don't know if it was her perfume. I don't know if it oh, was. Oh, like you got swept up. Yeah. I was so, she was so nice yeah. that I got, I kind of. What happened? What was the. Uh... We were at an event honoring Oprah, <laughs> Meryl Streep, Sophia Coppola. Lamar Morris. Yeah. And, and Michael B. Jordan, Lamar Morris. <laughs> okay. And so they were <laughs> no, honoring. No, it's Lamar and then Michael B. And then He's Michael the B. and. He, he he he's an afterthought when they put his name. When next you to do mine. that group, I see one of these things is not like the other. Michael B, get your ass out of here, yeah. Jordan. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I Michael mean, B, getting the fuck like, out yeah. of this list because my guy Lamar is in. Listen, Jordan. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been training for Creed Four. Yeah, I've been training. You've seen it. Yeah. Well, you've what? lost a lot of weight. But I've been. I'm I don't shredded. know if you're. I don't know if you're getting more built up. I am. See what Michael did, oh. and this is what I do. Mm. No, what? is first you trim it down, right? Then you build it up. <laughs> so what Michael and I, so I'm friends with Michael B. No, you're mm. not. Okay. No, you're not. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does the B stand for? Be minding your own fucking business some more. <laughs> <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> so you meet Oprah. Uh, I meet Oprah. Yeah. Um, and there's a, a lot of people that I admire. Their abilities are there. Name some. Robert Downey Jr. Okay. Iron Man. Um, yeah, fucking Iron Man was there, dude. You know what you I mean? You small talking with him? Uh, no, he walked past and gave me one of those looks like, hey, Oh, man. he did? He gave yeah. you the, okay. Was, hey. um, Zoe Kravitz was there. Okay. Um, Another dude this guy freezes in front of. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe Kravitz? Yep. Is that dude? <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> That's, I've never heard her describe that one. Yeah, no. Me either. <laughs> Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> She's that dude. She's that crazy. <laughs> her daddy was there. Yeah. Oh. Her daddy was there. And okay. He's that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Long dreads. Lenny. Lenny. Yeah. Dreads that long. You know, I'm even though he seems like a clean guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, them that hair yeah. gotta be dirty. His Did he have the scarf? He you know the, the scarf that he wears? Oh yeah, yeah. He was wearing no, actually he had his chest out. Yeah, he's, he might have been. He's shirtless. a great looking guy. He's yeah. so cool. <laughs> he's a great member of the show Hoops. Uh, uh, with that Ben Hoffman wrote, yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. had a bit in there where he said uh, Lenny Kravitz is the most person in the world who doesn't fit his name. It <laughs> is the name <laughs> of an accountant with the body and look of like the hottest. Like we yes. have now, he's turned that name Lenny Kravitz, yeah, into a name that symbolizes like sex, sex, yeah. and sexiness and coolness. Imagine every other Lenny Kravitz before <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> it is not that no. image. <laughs> like, who's your accountant? Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz. Who's that guy fucking everybody? <laughs> Lenny, Lenny Kravitz. Kravitz. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another episode of The La Morning After. It's the show people are already calling deep. Mm. They're saying it's insightful. In fact, one publication called it the most trusted source for news and information. The two-time Signal Award winner. Yeah, mm. two times. Well, you said welcome back. Welcome back. I, this is dropping first, unless you got Oprah coming. It's dropping first. <laughs> I'm holding you to it, son. No, 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 no. It's, I'm holding dro- you to it. We're dropping first. We're dropping first, and it's important to me to be first because I love my guy. Yeah, but like, but we've already had episodes. 
I don't want you to do the math on that. <laughs> Suck my dick. Uh, joining me, as always, is my esteemed co-host, Kyle. Um, now, today, folks, we have a doozy. We have a, a very, very special treat for mm. you. Mm. Mm. Actor, mm. writer, mm. director. Mm. You may know him as the jazz man and get him to the you Greek. You reading my credits? <laughs> yeah. We've known each other so long and yeah. so intimately. You needed, a, you needed a cheat sheet? Yeah. How dog shit is your brain? Because <laughs> I literally only know you from New Girl, That's and true. I wasn't going to drop that. <laughs> I wasn't going to drop that at all. For I was gonna, this? For this? For us? Yeah. I would lead out with it. No? Mm. No. No one. Uh, That's not why this bass who's listening knows no. us from. They know you. They know yeah, you. They're like, oh, the jazz man. <laughs> no, they The know. jazz man from Game no, they, 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 they know you from uh, Turnpike Ghost. What from the fuck from, is from Steel Train, that music, music video. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. well, the before guy from the tampon commercial. Roll the clip. Upgrade your life. Hey. You need to upgrade. Hi. <laughs> the clip's on YouTube. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. We're, back. Um, we're here with none other than Jake Johnson. He was also on New Girl. Jake, yeah. what, what's up, man? I'm reading your notes. You're Talk reading, to him about what directing for the first time was like, his writing process. How many times did he have to resist the urge to tell his <laughs> actors, just fucking say it like it's written while they were filming? <laughs> well, 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 answer the fucking question um i will say uh coming from our time together on new girl and mm -hmm. what you and i both like to do mm -hmm. uh, i did not feel the urge to tell the actors to say it as written mm -hmm. i love a good improviser yeah so i hate when everybody's word perfect and the good student and mommy and daddy at video village did i do it perfectly and yeah. you're like yeah it's fucking boring as hell but you said all the words <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done if this was graded you get an a Right. So I liked in mind anybody who would say, like, can I do this? Can I do that? Mm -hmm. And then would bring it and you'd be in a scene and being the guy who's in it, being surprised by a co-star, as you know, right. is the thing I like the most. When the person I'm with is really popping and doing something really mm -hmm. funny and I get to be the first audience member, that's the uh, game for me. Uh, that's that, what's the best for me. You worked with um, you worked with some very, very, you know, up there actors. Yeah. And I watched the film after giving you shit about not watching the film. Well, when you came on and as a good friend, which you always are. Thank you for saying so. That means it's a true. Lot. It's true. It means a lot. Mourn's a guy. If he's got your back, he's got your back, as you know. He, he'll get in bed with you to promote your movie. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> and when I go, hey, I want to do this thing. And it's we get him in. He goes, yeah, okay, man, whatever. <laughs> and when we finished and we we're changing clothes, Lamar goes, all right, man, let's talk soon. That was weird as fuck. <laughs> and I, on that one, it ended up turning out great. Pretty good. That was but a I great will promo. say, mm -hmm. uh, when we finished shooting it, I was like, I don't know. You don't know. You felt the same way. It was so weird. It I knew so we weird. were being funny. Mm -hmm. It was really weird with the extras. Yeah. I felt like I got, we got it, but no one was saying good job when we left. <laughs> Everyone was saying like, Mm. Okay, everybody, thank you. Yeah. And I was like, might have been insane. <laughs> yeah, and, it, and, and to some degree it was. There was an extended yeah. version that a lot of folks didn't see. And that one played uh, supposedly very big at the theaters. Yeah. Was that the one where you were pretending to give my picture a BJ? That got cut. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, you worked with you, Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Legend. What, what, is, what was that like? Now, I, you know, I love Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. He, he a little up there. <laughs> that man, that man got some miles on him. Well, here's one nice thing that mm -hmm. I feel like we can talk freely about this because this ain't in, he's not listening to a podcast. Yeah, he's not. He's not. <laughs> he's not going like, hold up, <laughs> <laughs> put the <Le> morning after <laughs> on. <laughs> after I listen to, him, we're here to help. <laughs> no, no, he's not doing that. He's not doing it. Um, it was really cool. I grew up watching Taxi, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. those kind of sitcoms meant a lot to me. His role as that like really wacky, crazy mm -hmm. guy, I loved. Mm -hmm. Um. I think the shoot was, uh, you know, hard for him. I had overwritten the scene. The scene that's in there, about two pages were cut out. Oh, wow. Because there was so much story that had to happen in there. And I thought, I'm going to shoot a two shot and I'm going to cross cover it. So, and there's never going to be a time where both of us aren't in it. So it's going to be very easy to edit. Mm -hmm. So fucking go long. Yeah. 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 Have entire monologues. He was like, that nope. you know, no, on the opposite. <laughs> I thought like, go long, and then when we're in there, if it's not feeling right, we'll just change it. Mm 
Uh, I was thinking like if it was you and me and you'd go, you'd get there and if Lamorne played my dad in it, he would go like in front of everybody. Damn, there's a lot of pages. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, like, and Sandberg did the same thing. Yeah. When Andy and I did the scenes, he was like, Ooh, a lot of words for is old he, Andy. Is it true? He can't read. Um, it is true, but that's, uh, Makes that sense. can't be released. And we don't, we don't have to talk about it. Right? No, 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 it's sad. Uh, but we then made changes together. We made the cuts. We did that. Andy, the dummy Sandberg is what they. Well, illiterate. Mm. Oh, careful. Same, same shit. I'm careful. You, you don't know who the base is of this show, son. Saying, you, you just got three ads. What, rocket money? Oh, Bye. No. Zoc Doc. <laughs> Bye. Because <laughs> guess what? what? You got to oh. be able to read the apps, my man. Mm. I, I didn't know. I didn't know if he could read or not. Our light went out. We've lost the light. Oh, that's on daddy, too. Yeah. You can't have that one. Oh, no. It's on big daddy. Or got, or got a little bit moody. Should we go through the dark or should we wait a second? Oh, shit. We keep, we keep talking until he fixes it. Um, yeah, no worries. You got it? Okay. Hurdle. Everybody say, okay. say hi to Jacob, everybody. Hey, Jacob. We don't have to. We can keep it in there. I think this is useful. Uh-huh. Um, Battery swap. Oh, you're not going cords on those, huh? No. Interesting. Or is it better for the environment. Yeah, we're cordless. Is that better for the environment? Yeah. What happens when the batteries, when they're done? You just, Jake. they dissolve in the ground? Yeah, you reuse them. <laughs> but what happens when they're dead? It's just a hunk of plastic. No, you recharge them. Yeah, they're nuclear powered. Yeah, and then when yeah. it's over, what happens? Because like, when I say you plug in, but then you put the solar on the roof so that the sun and the wind mm. are paying for this light. Yeah, but the amount of uh, jewels that is uh, that your house is giving off has a deep carbon footprint. Jewels. So you don't, you don't understand. <laughs> You're talking about jewels, man. And see, what happens my is... My house doesn't give away jewels. I put jewels in my house. Hey, Jake, if you look how we know, you built your house out of lumber. Fair. <laughs> with no, no, by the way, with no jewels. <laughs> no jewels. No Why? Because it doesn't make sense. It's just a jewel. <laughs> <laughs> jewels um, are uh, it's the output of, um, of energy. Uh, Shut him. We could have said gigawatts to yeah, get back yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to Christopher Lloyd. Shut him yeah. up with his jewels. That's true. That's true. I mean, people have called this show Jules. the most honest and truthful show. So no clearly the information. What is, yeah. the, what is the buzz on this? The what, buzz? What's happening on the streets? Barbara, How's, what's Hollywood saying? I mean, Barbara Streisand gave us a great review. No, no. way. Yeah. 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 What yeah. Oprah say when you talk to her? Uh. <laughs> 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 Whose phone is that? Is that my phone? I think. Who's Is this your phone on your Floor right here? Come on, man. Oprah. <laughs> what would Oprah say to this? Oh, is that Oprah? That's my mom. Get it. Get it on the get it on the show. Uh, FaceTime. Hey mom, you're on you're on camera. Say hi to everybody. Ooh. Hi. Hi. Camera. hi. You you hid from camera, mom. Now she's hit I'm hiding. Hiding. Hi. You see my hands. <laughs> <laughs> mom, you're here with Kyle and Jake Johnson. Say hello. Oh, Jake. Hi. <laughs> Thank let you. Me, let me, let me fix my no, it's okay. Say it again. Let me fix my hair. I got to see Jake. Ooh, hi. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, just because so, y'all are the so same age? Just show him a better picture of me. How are you? <laughs> oh, I think you look great. And thank you for making your son. You did You did good with that one. <laughs> Say it again. You did good with Lamorne. Thank you for making him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I got to hide because I don't, I don't have any makeup on or I'm not ready to face the crowd. Hey, Mom, you look lovely, but can I let you go? No, that's what you're going to say because you're my favorite son. I mean, you're my son. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mom, you just you're, checking in to see how Miss Lily's doing. She's good. She, she's at school, just terrorizing. Hey, can I let you go? Yeah, sure. I'm just checking in. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye, Jay. Good to see you. Bye. 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 Bye, mom. So Love lovely. Um, that let me tell you something, guys. Yeah. Most unprofessional thing I've ever done. Yeah, that's was, not true. I've worked with you for seven years. Nope. <laughs> yeah. No, my penis was already out when you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> well, Chris Lloyd. Yes. So Chris Lloyd is an old school actor. Actor. Yep. He came prepared. He knew his lines. He wanted to say them. Mm -hmm. So my style had to change quickly. Because I thought once you're in the scene, you're in it together, let's make some changes. And he was prepared to do it, but it was too long. So we also started shooting at, I think, midnight and went until about mm. 5 a.m. And so uh, it was great to work with him, but there wasn't a lot of time for the bullshitting, mm -hmm. talking about his past. It was, oh, we got to 
We got some. We got to. We got to do some work. Right. You got to go to bed. <clears throat> yes, we got to do some work right now. That's actually good to hear. Did that? How did that change your? Because uh, earlier you talked about you know having people who are word perfect, and yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. They, how did that change your perspective on that at all? Working with him, or do you realize you got to be different with different people? As a director, you have to be different with different people. Mm-hmm. You have to. Uh, <clears throat> when they come on set they kind of start running it Mm -hmm. certain actors certain actors just come in and fit in but other actors the whole thing changes around them Mm -hmm. and what's nice about being an actor is that you and the actors and the directors can create it as a director when he came in that way right it's very clear i'm not going to say to chris lloyd fucking dude chris let's loosen it up do some bits (laughs) i'm gonna tickle your dick area you're gonna love it you're like oh that's not this vibe Okay. So like in between takes, we're quiet. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking to like the DP, we're talking about lighting, and then I'd go like, great job. And he would go like, yeah. yeah. Like, because <laughs> like he's acting. He's like, I've been here before. He's like, I know. I'm just here for the very small money you're paying. <laughs> <laughs> but the movie's doing really well. Yeah. Really, really well. Uh, so I would imagine he, he, he's going to be taken care of once you guys break 100 million in the box office. Yeah, but I fudged those numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh, those Jiggy hidden Jiggy. jewels in my wooden camera. <laughs> Jig hacks into Hulu and just starts tampering <laughs> with the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an interesting transition from you being um, um, an improv guy, somebody who you started like very deep underground doing improv and comedy L- shows. Like you. Like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you managed to... You managed to break through, do all these cool things, and then direct. Was that always something you were like... uh, Wanting to direct? Yeah. No, I I think it's similar to you. I think, Mm -hmm. uh, because you and I had very similar kind of paths. And at New Girl, we spent all those hours together. So you know why I want to direct. Yes. Mm. (laughs) So you tell me why I got excited about it. (laughs) Jake, Because I I did not come up caring about directing, and I'm not technical. Right. Uh So why did you think I got into directing and wanted to try it? So you can go home earlier? <laughs> <laughs> because the director sets the cameras. And mm-hmm. so part of the answer is to go home earlier. But also, if you guys are in a scene together and you guys are really funny yeah. mm-hmm. and you guys are riffing and a director comes in and goes, oh, you guys are fucking great together. Okay, great. Let's do both your singles. Ugh. Then we'll turn around and do both your singles. And on your single, Lamorne says something really funny and you laugh. Well, now it's unusable. Yeah, because yeah, you don't have the reverse. You, you don't have it. So then if you if the director knows a little bit and will do at least a two shot with mm-hmm. a single, which means the eyeline of the singles might not be as good. Mm. So if you're making a beautiful art film, I get it. There is a difference of like the camera here for an eyeline and the camera here. Mm. But the sacrifice is you missed the funniest thing that happened. And that is while you were doing your monologue, he knew you forgot the line. Yeah. And you took a pause and he improvised. <laughs> <laughs> and you laughed and it triggered you back in. But it actually really works for the scene. Right. Yeah. So my reason was like, I hate being on a set. And if it's Lamorne, if we're in a scene and I'm like, oh, I get to hang out with Lamorne. We're going to do these bits. We're making the crew laugh. It's getting fun. Mm. Then we sit down and now we're at our least funny. Right. Mm. Because everything's getting really isolated and singles and tights and the director's really excited to push in on this line. Mm -hmm. And you say, you're doing a lot of cool technical stuff, but I promise you there's more fun this other way. And so New Girl, when we had somebody like a Trent O'Donnell, I'd be like, oh, this is, I really like being at work. Mm. And then other directors, you would be sitting in a single and they're yelling alts and I would go like, oh, I just don't like this as much. It reminds (laughs) me of like a coach for a sports team. Yeah. They just run different offenses. That's true. So I realized at a certain point, I'm not a player who can just run in any offense. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if you want the D'Antoni offense of running and sprinting, I'm heavy and I get slow. What Let's posi- slow down the offense. <laughs> if we're talking basketball, what position Andres are Nocione, you? Andres uh, undersized power forward, <laughs> uh, who was uh, overseas for way too late. Yeah. And my rookie class, I was about 15 years older than everybody. Mm-hmm. I do not speak the same language of them. When they go out to the hotel, I stay by myself and I get a lot of loose balls. I'm willing to do everything. I can kind of handle the point. And if we need to, I can play center. 100%. But I don't have a true I don't have a true position. Okay. Andres so Nocioni. Andres Nocioni. Would you, do you think that's accurate? I think that's pretty accurate. Right? I think that's pretty accurate. Who no, you but be? you have yeah. the, who would I be yeah. if I were the, LeBron James? Yeah, you're not LeBron oh my James. God. LeBron James. No, do, you're not. I, you know what? Muggsy I'm, Bogues. I'm a Swiss arb- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a new bull. Dude, honestly, the uh, the the con- the pickup league I was playing in here, they yeah. started calling me Nicholas Batum. Ooh. And then when I went to New York recently, yeah. uh, I just play- I forgot where I was. I just went to a pickup court, 
And I was like, hey, can, can I play? And I had my glasses on. And the guy looked at me. He's like, I don't know. Can you play Harry Potter? And I was like, all right, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. I was horrible. Yeah, my confidence is shot, so probably not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't do pickup anymore. Yeah, neither. I can't. My bones don't work. I, as we sit, my neck. It hurts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how it happened. And what was your nickname at New Girl? At New Girl, honestly, it was porcelain. <laughs> Why? Because I it, broke. Because it's easy. beautiful, but it breaks. Yeah. It breaks <laughs> easy. That's right. <laughs> Wait, what? What were you guys' first impressions of each other on like day one of New Girl working together? Because you guys hadn't worked together before that, right? Right. I know mine. You go first. If you got, you got the finger up. Well, I was gonna say. I, 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 we had a first impression on set. Mm -hmm. However, we had met yeah, previous. It was different. So yeah. the pilot, uh, Damon was in. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we did the pilot, and Damon I loved. And I felt like I knew what the show was. Max and Zo Zoe was the lead. Max was wild back mm -hmm. then, not talking to us really as much. <laughs> right. he, he understood the game, <laughs> so he was at the Video Village being like, Schmidt jokes. Yeah. <laughs> and Damon didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Uh, so Damon, for me, like he did in the pilot, I was so nervous about that job. I couldn't believe I was getting that raid. I couldn't believe I was on TV. I really thought like, just make sure everyone's happy. Don't get fired. Don't yeah. get fired. Uh, Zoe and Max are doing a scene on the couch and me and Damon are in the background. But he's in front of me. There's not a bit. He lowers his pants so that I'm seeing bare ass, <laughs> but we're on camera. And they can't see that his ass is out. And I couldn't believe he was doing this. I would be like, they'd go cut and I'd be like, don't! Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get fired, you fucking asshole. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, and then when he left, I had like a fuck. Like that was my buddy. That's I knew what the show was. Mm -hmm. And then they were looking for everybody around town, and they were seeing everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, exhibit was close. Exhibit. What? Oh, my. Yes. Yeah. And that was Exhibit strange. was good. So <laughs> there was a world where I knew the group liked Exhibit mm -hmm. as uh, Winston. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is a, I was like, I don't know this show. And you were in a Bud Light commercial. Yeah, right? Mi was, Miller Light. Miller Light, mm -hmm. where you were like doing a picnic thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and you had crushed a bit in it, whatever yeah. the bit was. Yeah. Uh, and I had seen it and always been like, oh, that dude's funny. Like uh, Daryl Johnson in my movie, who plays the brother-in-law. Yes. Yeah. I had seen him in a commercial years before and been thinking oh, wow. about him. Yeah. Because I think commercial actors really show what you can do. Oh, thanks for saying uh, so. But if you can get a laugh in 15 seconds, totally. you can mm -hmm. get it in an hour and a half. Yeah. And then you see a bad commercial actor and you're like, no, yeah. editing can't save your ass, but that person's <laughs> funny. So I think you had auditioned. And then were you with Naomi at the time? Yeah. So mm -hmm. then I knew Naomi Odenkirk because uh, I'd worked with Bob. Mm -hmm. And so I think I reached out to Naomi, got your number, mm -hmm. and then texted and said, like, you want to come over to my uh, place right. and rehearse mm -hmm. oh, wow. because I felt like I had a cheat code because I'd been in all the auditions. I'd listened to everything Jake Kasdan had said. I'd gotten mm -hmm. to know Liz a little bit. I knew what Zoe liked. Mm -hmm. Max and I were irrelevant, but we mm. had to be at all of them. <laughs> so then we rehearsed, we rehearsed it, auditioned together, got to know each other. Wow. And I was like, if he gets it, uh, the, I get what the show is again. Right. So I knew like, we got a ringer. He was just so shy back then. Mm. Lamar used to be so polite and shy and well, skinny. And I'm not going to lie to you. It, every day on that show for the first season, maybe two, I'm not sure if I yeah. ever expressed this to you. I thought I could be fired. Yeah, you did. We talked about it. Yeah, because... You also used to have nightmares. Yeah, dude. I, <laughs> I was like, okay, a new character, they've developed coach. They've yeah. developed all the characters. Liz may have sat with these characters for I don't know how long. Yeah. And then on the fly, you have to write a new character in and he has to fit and not fuck up the flow of everybody else. Every time I would get lines, mm -hmm. I'd be like, this generic ass lie. I'm literally yeah. just filler. And I would feel like But so was I. Oh. That first season, the beginning? No. Mm. Yeah. Look remember when we did the episode where we were at the grocery store and we were slapping each other? <laughs> oh, Do you remember what we talked about in the van that day? No. We were both saying it was the first time we admitted like we don't really have, we don't really know what we're doing here. Mm, okay. And then that's we were, that's that day we were like, so let, that's why we went so hard. And we're like, if this is our storyline, mm -hmm. nobody's paying attention. Right. It's Zoe's show and Schmidt's popping. Yeah. So we were like, we have to get into it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I will say this. Yeah. It was it was rough. Yeah. Mm. It was Same very. for me. That first year was rough. Yeah. The, the episode that got me realizing that, that you know what i i do think i i found something here i found a rhythm we would do bits off camera yes. a lot and those bits slowly started making yes, their way agreed. into the characters 
Jake Kasdan said something to me in one episode. It was episode at a bar where you were making me fruity drinks. Yes. And you were like, Winston, I'm not making these. Episode one, season two. Season two. Look Dang, at memory. fucking memory, wow, dude. And you I, love the show. That's why. <laughs> I'm an encyclopedia. <laughs> no, because I, I remember the bits. Yeah. And then Max had a line in there where he goes, he's like, and he laughed so hard he couldn't get through it. He His line was sincere. Hey, man, why don't you make one of those fruity cocktails that used to make the girls go wild? <laughs> and that kind of line for Max, he can't handle. He, oh. So you remember what I'm talking about? You were in it where he kept going like, come on, Nick, make, a, make one of those drinks that makes the girls go wild. And we would all be like, just fucking say it. Man. <laughs> just say it. There was a moment where I'm like, this is so stupid. I was yeah. like, I'm... I my character no, my yeah. character storyline is I really love <laughs> fruity drinks and <laughs> and I said it the line was look at me being so naughty mm. and I didn't know how to say that because again I was like it's mm. kind of how Max felt like what, what is this yeah 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 and then Jake <laughs> cast and screams from Video Village more girly <laughs> and I was like I mean I could do a bit yeah yeah, yeah. like and I was like I feel like and I didn't do it on the second take and he goes. Even more girlier than that. And so I went, all right, fuck it. I'm let's, gonna do let's a, get a taste of it. I'm gonna do a bit. <laughs> oh, now there's I pressure. remember. What it, it was, it was look at me being so naughty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> totally. Oh yes. That's a that's a really famous gift for yeah, yeah, yeah. the number right. they, yeah. they, they they called me recently. They want to send me a plaque and a certificate from the Guinness Book of World Records for having the most used GIF of all time. Is that true? Damn. On this show, everything is true. And, oh, you're lying. No, we don't spread misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> we spread no misinformation, Jake. Uh, hey, Jake, really quick. You want to see something cool? Yeah. Oh, God. Ten. You're put me on the spot. No. <laughs> no, my hands don't work. Eight. Seven. Yeah, dude. Six. No, it's not going to happen five, in six seconds. Four. Three, two. Walk off. <laughs> one. <laughs> Your mind has just been blown, bitch. I'm not real. I mean, give yeah, me that could be you, done in like 10 minutes. You want to see this? 10 seconds. Give me 12 for real. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, he's almost there. Seven. Oh my God. For you listening, Jake, it, his fingers are just moving so fast. <laughs> I can't even see him. Jake, we're at like 40. Wow. If you're just tuning in to our podcast a little morning after, Jake Johnson is attempting to solve a Rubik's Cube. In I under think it's impossible. Eight days. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. I've done the entire test. It's impossible. That's a trick Rubik's Cube. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, so on our show, we, 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 we question the fans. We say, hey, what do you want to know about Jake Johnson? Mm. And so they. And you did this already. We did yeah. this already. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and okay. they have submitted uh, some cues, uh, and we're going to give them some A's. Yeah. Yeah, and we. You have questions too. Yeah, we have questions. Yeah, we both. Have uh, we both have some questions. Uh, you want to go first, Kyle? I have a quick question. <laughs> Is it harder being a Cubs fan or a Bears fan? Both. I mean, they're you know. What are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> they're both what? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you know, it's, I got to say, I'm excited about what the uh, Bears could do, and I'm excited about what the Cubs could do. Mm. But my favorite part of being a fan is reading about teams in the offseason. Not a surprise. Mm -hmm. So I don't watch as many games as I used to, uh, but how teams are built I find fascinating. So this offseason for the Bears is the most Big. excited I've been as a fan. But it's mm -hmm. not about winning. It's like, oh, what the possibilities the of how you could yeah. build it are really fun. Okay, next question. Do you accident again? These are from the fans. Um, do you accidentally still have any R. Kelly songs on your playlist? And if no one is around, do you kind of just let it play? Accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> Why accidentally? Are you are you still bumping R. Kelly like that? I like his music. I separate. Oh, very very nice. Because as we said yesterday mm -hmm. on, we're here to help. Oh, yeah. My, my mind's telling, telling me no. no. But, but my body, my, my body is telling me yes. Yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Man. That's pretty good. We yeah. found something. Damn. Can we clip that? <laughs> yeah, album dropping <laughs> soon. <God> damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Woo. Jay, I'm not, my body. Be, hey, your dick. 
It's telling me yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hurt nobody. But there's something that I must confess. I don't see nothing wrong. I mean, that's not good. Song. That's pretty yeah, good. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. But honestly, now when I think about that song, I go, who is he talking about? Mm. With a little <laughs> boy, so I, I can separate. You separate. I separate. That song's mine now. I'm not thinking about our. I can also listen to Mike Jackson. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah. so, easy, easy. But I could do. I mean, I am kind of like I don't care. Like, yeah. yeah, whatever he did is disgusting, and the laws have that handled. Yeah, I'm alone in my car. R. <laughs> Kelly's on, and I'm gonna go like, <laughs> no way. I'm going to go to a worse song. <laughs> no, I want R. Kelly, man. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you a big car singer or, do you, or are you a bigger shower singer? I'm not a big singer. Yeah. No, uh, I just, hold what? on. Hold what on. We just yeah. Run the clip back. Yeah. And we're back. Yeah, you guys we don't have the ability to run it back. <laughs> Y'all just went like that. <laughs> 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 uh but honestly, every once in a while, there'll be a certain song that hits. Yeah. And then fuck, wherever you are, man, you got to let it rip. You have to. You got to <laughs> let it rip. Man. Um, oh, I got a good question here. Okay. Nick Miller, mm -hmm. Tommy from Self Reliance, mm. Doug from Minx, mm. or Eddie from Win It All, mm. which are four characters you've played. Mm. Which one would have been a friend of yours in high school? Mm. Mm. We get deep. Balls deep. <laughs> Who would have been a friend of yours? Winnie the Bish? Mm -hmm. The guy from uh, Bloodshot? Mm -hmm. Or the guy from Fargo? In high school? Yeah. Oh, Winnie, Winnie, the, Winnie the Bish. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Bish. Oh, yeah. my God. Probably Nick Miller, too. Probably Nick Miller. Yeah. You know what that actually made me think of when we both said that? How fun the flashback episodes were. Oh, my God. Whenever we did flashbacks, <laughs> uh, Max in his fat suit. Yeah. yeah. You with the different the wigs. Yes. The the afro. Uh, me with the braces. Yeah. The whole crew changed because we did so many hours on that. So part of making a show it isn't as much fun for the people making the sausages mm -hmm. as it is for those eating it. Right. Mm -hmm. Especially the crew. Right. So you would just be like, I know we're improvising and cooking in a fun way, but everybody's tired. Everybody's yeah. pissed. You're like, it's going to be fine, but it doesn't feel fun. Right. right. It just was. It's still on most jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, flashbacks. Everybody was in a good mood. Oh, yeah. As soon as you would walk on set, Crafty would be like, hey, hey, the guys. <laughs> yep. And we were all everybody. Our tone. We all knew exactly what the bit was. We were all, as soon as they turned the camera on, take one was always good. Mm -hmm. Rehearsal was good. Max is that fat version of him. Yeah. Excellence. <laughs> yes. The way he talked, excellent. Mm -hmm. The scene where he's like, sex stuff. <laughs> sex, man. Yeah. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. <laughs> when you and me are with Dennis Farina. Oh, oh and, yeah. And, you know, he was, he was the, he's a real, he was a real guy. Mm -hmm. uh, that, there's, we're not. Right. Right. And he was nice to us. But he didn't like us. <laughs> Dude, have, we, have you ever talked about that story? The Max story? Yeah. I think I did in one of these panels with Max. Remember, I think I did on the, whatever we're doing in the pandemic. Okay. We started doing all those, and then I started wilding out on them. Okay. <laughs> and okay. I, I don't think it ever fully plays because it's sad. But there is a funny... There is <laughs> yeah. That, it was can, so funny for us. Yes, it was. Can you talk about that? Sure. So... Do a quick version. Yes. So we were doing it. So Dennis was there and he's really tough. He was a genuine detective. Mm. Um, and he and I one-on-one -on -one could have nice moments where we talked more <laughs> like Chicago. And I played a version of myself that I don't... I'm not around Max. Yeah. Right? More <laughs> when I'm around like my uncles mm -hmm. yeah. who like don't understand why what I'm doing as an actor. My uncle Paul, a fireman, saw a sketch show I did, mm. and literally all he said after was, "I would say don't, uh, you know, don't do don't do anything I wouldn't do, but it's too late for that." Yeah. And I had to be like, "Thank you so much for coming." <laughs> <laughs> was it the wigs, the voices, <laughs> or the whole thing? Yeah. And so we were in that different vibe, and Max and I were in an overtired, slap happy vibe. And as a joke to me, Max goes like. I wonder if like detectives who are doing stakeouts ever see like naked ladies in mirrors. <laughs> Max would do a version of Schmidt and you would do a version of Winnie and I would do a version of Nick that we knew how to do the bit off camera. So we would stay in it. Yeah. Max's real Max was not curious. Mm. One of the bits that I do to my friends is sell them out and yes. put them in a corner. Yes. Because comedically, part of the bit that you started getting on the show 
where it would always be like when he started becoming a guy who's like, uh, I, uh, uh. Yeah. well, it started because Lamorne would just rap. We would do a bit. Yeah. And then in the middle of it, we would just put him in a corner and then yeah. you'd have to talk. As, like do the bit with the rap, how it started with the you, rap. Do you remember how you used to like, you'd be like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What were, were you like but, rap but, guys? But never, but never get into <laughs> never it. Fully. Based off that one video. Yeah. It would be like, like I freestyled. It, it would be like, apart. yeah, we go, listen, yeah. look, uh, uh, cause, <laughs> Hold on. Uh, <laughs> about to. Give me. I get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just wanted to put Max in a comedic corner, mm. right? I wanted oh, yeah. to. I kind of thought he was going to be. Dennis was going to be in the game with us, but I wanted to go. Max said it to me, and then Dennis walked by, and I go, "Hey, Dennis, my man Max has a question." And Max kind of looked at me like, "Don't." But we were slap happy laughing. And I go, Max would be really curious to know if you ever saw any naked ladies while doing a stakeout. <laughs> and, you know, he took his job seriously. Yeah, yeah. And that shit's not cool. And that shit's not funny. Mm -mm. And he went like, no, that's not what we did. We were <laughs> yeah. detectives. You know, it's not what you do. And if there's a naked lady, like, you fucking look away. And Max was like... Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going like, what is it about? Like, it was a joke. It was a joke. Like, of course, of course. A woman's privacy is. Yeah. Okay. And we just died, you yeah. know? And he didn't think it was charming. He didn't see the comedy. And then Max afterwards was like, you fucking ass. And I was like, it went sideways. Yeah. <laughs> right? But from there on out, Dennis hated Max. Yeah. Oh, he would no. like go to shake his hand. We'd be like, all right, great day, man. And he'd like shake my hand. Yeah. But then like squeeze Max's hand. <laughs> and Max is like, this is my nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> um, RIP Dennis Farina. The mm. best. Um, one of so the sad he passed. Yeah. Remember the, uh, were you, I think you were there when we did the Virgins episode and we're in the bed. It mm. might have been just me and him, but I feel like you were there. Yeah. But he gives that big speech. I was there. Okay. Do you remember the crew applauded in a rehearsal? Really? So it was the first time I've ever seen it. But we're doing the thing. We're in the hair. I, I think it might have been I was alone with him. Okay. Because there was a moment where in that episode. So in the hotel room? Yes. So I remember that being in a scene like that. Yeah. And he sits down and mm -hmm. gives me like a talk, like a father and son talk mm -hmm. about like, you know, what are you doing here? And we were in the... Uh, Outfits. Yeah. So when we were in those outfits, it was all bits to everybody. Yeah. You couldn't get through the being you know wired without doing bits with the sound guy, craft. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in on the bit. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and we rehearsed his scene, mm -hmm. and he at, oh, he's an actor, so he really acted. The whole crew applauded, and I realized like, oh, I've never seen that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought, and that's my big takeaway. When I think about him, I'm like, fucking pretty awesome, man. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Like if you hit that hard. Everybody who's tired and bitching, we all remember what this game's about really fast every once in a while. You yeah. know, like, that's talent. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> And that's cool, and that's why we're all here. That's why we're all here, man. And that's why, uh, oh, well, that's perfect to lead us into this next question. It's a perfect segue. Um, is there one person from your past that you regret sleeping with? Um, and say names. I would say um, I hated our 69 uh, it's not sex. What do you mean R? When you and I used a 69. <laughs> Jake, Jake, uh, Jake, Jake, but Jake. you convinced me Jake, Jake, that a 69 wasn't yeah. sex and it was something mm -hmm. that co-stars yeah. did. Uh, and what I've... Uh, this, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't that What show. I've wanted to say to you uh -oh. that show, man. for a long time. Say, say it. I don't see nothing, nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with, with a little, little 69. 69. <laughs> a 69 uh, is good. A standing 69 is better. What? Yeah, Who's so, holding up who? So you got to you got to communicate. Mm. But what I love to do in the business, what I do when I'm at a club, and you know the night I'm talking about. Everyone's dancing, yeah, hanging yeah. out. You're in the middle of me. I'm in the middle of the dance floor doing all my moves, mm -hmm. dripping in sweat. Everybody's yeah. clapping. Everyone's mm -hmm. loving it. And then, you know, I pick my partner, right? Right. My, as Lamorne says, my victim. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a partner. <laughs> but I'll be like, boom, like, that's the one. And they'll go, like, where do you want to go? And I'll go, bathroom. They yeah. Go, right now I go, yeah. And then I'll go, what we're going to do is we're going to do the standing 6 9 And they go, like, yes, sir, yes, sir. And then you have to negotiate on the fly. Because what I mm -hmm. love to do nowadays that I'm older is you reverse it in the middle. Whoever, it's uh, head to toe. Yeah. But in the middle, you go, like, 
I'm Felix, I'm Felix, I'm Felix. And they go, whoa, what? You say. How did your, how, what's the sound that you just made? I'm Felix, I'm Felix. Why is it, why, why is it, why are you gargling? What, what's, what's happening to your mouth? Why are you. Uh, Got something in it. <laughs> what's in it? 69. <laughs> 69. <laughs> what do you mean? What's in your mouth during 69. This? A 69 is in your mouth? Yeah, because I know what sex is. <laughs> He, does he, so he does I, sex. I'm not a virgin. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I do. I've done sex with so many people. Yeah, yeah. and 69s, and blowjobs. Yeah, I know what all this is, and I don't think it's cool to know what it is. At 45 years old, I just do it. You just so, do it. Yeah. So What's you it? you go in the room with the girl, mm -hmm. <laughs> underpants, get out of here, <laughs> and then you just like, <clears throat> and then they're like, and then like, your, everything's in your mouth and your butt <laughs> and your hands. What? And then it's over. And, and guess done. what? It's dirty. <laughs> and you need to use condoms. Yes. <laughs> and then in 10 years, five years, one year, there's a baby. Uh, yeah. Wait, yeah. In 10 years, there's a baby? Well, what? after sex, yeah. babies come. Yeah. But 10 and years after later? 69s, they come. That's not true. Agreed. Sometimes they don't <laughs> if you use condoms. Yeah. For 69s. If you use a condom for 69. Babies <laughs> don't come. There's been an old Here's saying. Here's the thing. This I'm a private guy. I don't feel comfortable talking about this. <laughs> no one's going to see this. Yeah, yeah, We're cut good. this out. I, I don't We're feel good. comfortable because I'm so private. Okay. But I do want people to know that I have had sex yes, and yes. 69s. Okay. And I'm not a virgin. You sure? <laughs> you can ask me anything. I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. But you but you're private. Yeah. But okay. I know what it is. <laughs> you, you, it's like this. You know what I mean? I, do, I don't. And it's about the, the private. Uh, yeah. I think I it's did. not like a handshake, virgin. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any kids, so yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. guess I but can't they confirm. But they come after. They come after. Yeah. There's a saying. Um, I saw it on a t-shirt once. I was, I think I was at church. Yeah. It said, uh, you can't get pregnant through the throat. At you saw that at church? <laughs> yeah, it was on the. It was on the oh, oh, that was the day you. you that was the period you used to sell T-shirts outside of churches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How'd that go for you? How was business? Honestly, business was booming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until it, I got found out. Yeah, define yeah. booming. Booming. <laughs> we sold a shirt. Yeah, see, that's not booming. <laughs> yeah, we sold a shirt. The rest of them got stolen. Yeah. It yeah. was to a, a homeless guy, and by sell, it was you know in Hollywood, you got to give away to big stars. So, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got a good one because we're speaking about finishing. Yeah. Um, if you were a pro wrestler, Jake, what would your finisher move be well, called? Well, first of all, I'd be the junkyard dog. Ooh, oh, nice. Because I'm going back to my era when yeah. you boys were still in your mother's bodies or your dad's nuts. <laughs> we were so, so, uh, women. Or when I was in your mother's bodies. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. She don't deserve that. What I just said about your mom. Pause. And what we do. Yeah. Not Private. okay. Private. <laughs> well, the real question is, is are you my dad? <laughs> Because we've related on this, son. Listen, if you're the junkyard dog, then clearly. <laughs> <laughs> clearly. So I'm over 18. I want what's mine. Half of your shit. You mm. didn't pay for anything. Right. I know you're rich. I've seen you on BMO, and right. I want some. But it's too late. <laughs> because you're way past 18. Right. Nigga, you fit. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm still your <laughs> son. <laughs> and I know somewhere deep down, down I I'm must love you. you. <laughs> never gets old. It never, never gets, gets old. old. Um, <laughs> uh, again, these come this is this is from the fans. Um it's 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 in relation to one of your films. Who is your favorite real life drinking buddy? Who's my favorite real life drinking buddy? Mm -hmm. Um, well, you know, I don't drink the way I used to. Mm -hmm. That's what happens is you age, you can't. Do you I? Uh no, I didn't get on DUI. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> but I got away with it. <laughs> but I have parked weird at times. <laughs> <laughs> when I get home I go like this, who put the car like that? And my <laughs> wife goes like this, is it on the curb? And I go, Sweetheart, someone must have stole my car last night. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I told Jake uh, Jake says, Where can I park? I said park right on the street. We go outside, we're looking for Jake. Yeah. Solid ten minutes. We're like, Where the hell is he? I we look to the right. Joey goes, "Is that him?" And I'm like, "Of course not. That, that person's coming from two blocks away." <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I look over. It's Jake walking from two blocks away. Yeah, there's He's so many parking spaces. In getting your steps in. I don't like to move a garbage can. No, we're not talking about your car. We're talking about. Like, <laughs> 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 we're talking about on the street. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was the question again? I can't remember. <laughs> what was the question? Um, um, uh, the question. I, I don't remember okay. what the question was. Um, maybe we, maybe we did. Oh, oh no, 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 who's yeah. your real life drinking? Oh yeah, buddy? Oh, drinking oh, buddy. Well, Eric Edelstein used to be. He was oh, drunk yeah. Elvis. Yes. Um, on New Girl, um, he used to be the funniest, craziest guy I've ever drank with. But he stopped drinking. Okay. Mm. Steve Berg was a great oh, drinking yeah. buddy for a long time. Derek Waters, a lot mm -hmm. of fun. Um, but I don't really have. I don't really drink drink anymore so if you're a drinking buddy you have to want you have to commit to the game of i yeah. mean drunk history started because derek and i were drinking buddies and decided to get like it was just the two of us and we said like let's blow it out tonight mm -hmm. so we had that like <laughs> two guys sitting <laughs> in my apartment being like shots and being like casually like yep yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chug a beer for no reason besides to get blackout drunk yep <laughs> Ooh, that's gotta be that, yeah, that, that's that, fun. things like that that's why you don't drink as much now because you burned yourself out early. Oh, yeah. You got to go hard. Got to go hard. You got to go hard. Yeah. You gotta the two-day hangover is like a real thing now. Yeah, it's just like different. It. I'll tell you what really changed it was children. Oh, absolutely. They don't, they don't drink? They, my kids can't party like <laughs> me, oh. man. But you just lose the hours. You lose yeah. the hours. Um, another question for you. Yerks. You ever had a... What'd you say? I was just answering, I guess. Yerks? Yerks. Yerks. Fuck does that mean? <laughs> Can you use that in a sentence? Uh, Yerks, I can. Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. It checks out. Yeah. Um, the math is mathing. Um, you ever had a fan recognize you in the bathroom or at a gangbang? I know you're writing these. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are from the internet. <laughs> these, are, <laughs> these are from the internet. These are Lamorne. The fans have the written fans these. The fans said bathroom. Lamorne goes like the pretending to be a producer. I, yeah. uh, let me make an addition. <laughs> <laughs> A quick edit here. <laughs> it's gotta. I know. And then he goes, and then he says it to you like, "No, this will be good." <laughs> <laughs> well, because I know I, you just talked about your sexual proclivities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have had a, uh, the fans when I got recognized in the gangbang. Yeah. Uh, it was all I remember was going like this. Oh, you guys do remember? Me? <laughs> From which project? And then I'd be like, "Awesome, awesome." awesome. Wait, <laughs> just, just, just curious. Just huh. curious. You're in this. Are you in this gangbang with like NBA players? Why are you looking up at them? Or I was laying down. <laughs> and who's standing around you? The gangbangers. <laughs> gangbanging <laughs> with gangbangers, dude. Who else would do it, Lamorne? Craft service. <laughs> what a fucking dope this guy is. <laughs> Get your head out of your ass, my guy. He's not correct. <laughs> Do you remember uh, the A.D. Uh, Rishi, I think his name was? Oh, yeah. I remember Rishi. Uh, so we did a lot of bits, and a lot of the bits include once a crew member was into the game, they became part of the team. Cool. Max was always in my trailer. Lamorne was always hanging out, but there was always, like, a vibe around us, and mm. any guest star would mostly kind of, like, fall in. Zoe and Hannah would sometimes come in, but a lot of times they would also be like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, they didn't know. And they, it would be like, a lot of people would be like, it's a lot. But we were around each other so much, mm -hmm. and there's so many bits. Rishi was a set uh, PA who showed up in camo, mm. took his shit seriously, uh, referred to Max as like Mr. Greenfield. <laughs> and, you know, everybody else treated us like the fucking clowns we were. Mm -hmm. And that's how we should have been treated. He was trying to treat us like professional actors. And so he would be like, do you need another anything to drink? And we'd be like, Rishi, you're good. Thank you. But he had a moment in the bathroom that was still one of the more embarrassing things I've lived through. Mm -hmm. And that is, I had to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Max wouldn't leave my trailer. And it was a triple banger. Like, we were yeah. all so tight. It was yeah. gross. So I used to just go in the crew bathroom, which was right near uh, yeah. stages. <laughs> Remember the lobby yeah. of the oh, bathroom? No. And so they were in between a lighting setup, and I go to the bathroom, and so it's, so it's packed. Every stall is full. Mm -hmm. It's a disgusting situation, let's oh, be yeah. honest. I don't know why crews are so nasty in, in You got to hold it in this whole day. And then everybody at the same, it's just a disgusting mess. Everything's explosive, I it's feel like. It's a disgusting mess. Everything. The farts, the sounds. Mm. It, it's not a place you're and, proud of. And the floor is always wet. It's gross. It's sticky. And they're like, aren't they always snacking the entire time, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's oh. a lot of food. Thing. Do you remember this... Uh, the Eminem story? Yep. What is it? Uh, you, yeah! I, I <laughs> you put me on the spot. I don't know if I could say it. Then beep his name out if you change your mind. Yeah, we'll beep the name out. There was a director that we had. Great director. Really funny guy. Um, <laughs> 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 and we, we found out about this by the one of the ACs. Yes. But keep going. One of the ACs. Um, um, yeah. He... <laughs>
beep his name out. Damn, too. Jake's, your memory's sharp, dude. Yeah. That's a lot for you know someone of your advanced. Like what? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so they're in the bathroom together. <laughs> gonna piss and not is, together. He said it weird. Well, they're both using at the, the same, same time. time. At the same time. Okay, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, they right. did. Did say like want to go take a shit? Yeah. Or <laughs> no, 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 no. He did. But that's what <laughs> was doing. He was dropping a deuce, mm. and he comes out yes, and sir. doesn't wash his hands. Oh no! Then, per clock, per per, I wasn't there. Yeah, but per, and he goes out to Crafty where all the food is. Yeah, the M and M's, the, the M and M's aren't individualized packets. It's a big jar, big jar. bowl. Yeah. Oh, and some people there's a spoon next to it that you can scoop out. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, and you get a little cup, you scoop yeah. it. Yeah. And then you get the nuts for the trail mix, you throw the nuts out, you just eat the M&M's. Like yes. everybody does. <laughs> yes. So they have a garbage for the nuts, and yeah. then you yeah. eat the M&M's. 100%. Like, Except for the cashews, which everybody loves. Um, but apparently, he's watching. He goes in, he sticks his hand directly, Does a scoot. directly into the M&M's. Oh. Now, then he leaves. We're not there for that part. Yeah. Tell me if I'm remembering this wrong or if uh, I just heard the story and I'm changing it. Were we all then at craft service when we saw him take it? Yes. Okay. And dump we were it. there. Yes. Okay. Uh, did he dump all of the containers yes. out? <laughs> no. So I don't remember that. But then our a guy we had been with for years at that point we knew well, mm. and he's always like setting marks. So he's with anybody close to the actors. They're part of your team. Yeah. So he was with us. Ten out of ten, mad. Yes. <laughs> you know, like mad dad shit, where you're like. You're at a sleepover and uh, something breaks and then dad comes in and you're like, I don't have a dad. Is this normal behavior? Yes. <laughs> Is this how men act? Yeah. Like, oh, I probably wouldn't have done so many bad things if there was one of these around to scare me. <laughs> but he goes, boom, dumps everything out, dumps everything yeah. out, throwing away and it's so much uh, candy. <laughs> and then he go, we go, what happened? And he goes, his fucking shit hands. <laughs> <laughs> And that gave us episodes worth of fun. Oh, 100 percent. Maybe even seasons oh. worth. Yeah, because I never and, and I never looked at no. the same. And I never no. looked at like craft service the same. Oh yeah. Because I'm, I'm like, ah, nasty. Man. I'm actually very grateful for how it is now post pandemic. Yeah. Where everything's individually wrapped. I agree. You know what I mean? I and if I want something, I gotta ask my man, hey, can you go grab it? Because before people would be in there yeah, making yeah, sandwiches. You're, you're not wrong, but there's also something a little bit annoying. You, know, you have to wait in line to ask for gum. Mm. You're like, yeah. come on, just let me get my fucking weird mints, man. I got it. Yeah. I got I got stuff. Wait, so when he would come around, if he like his wants to handshake you, do you elbow him Just or bump. what do you do? Just bump. Uh, I, I lean in. I wash my hands after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's sucking fingertips. I mean, Jake was in the bathroom 69ing the whole time. Yeah, I was, a, I was a, you know, at work. And I, I, that's what I call work, just 69 and strangers. But I also do a lot. I give back to communities. So I'll also, you know, I'm willing to do that for charity, you know, which is also really great. <laughs> uh, have you ever said you too when a waiter tells you to enjoy your meal? Sure. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's just the stupidity, or are you just not thinking? You're just being kind. Well, they're going to have a meal at some point, no? Oh, that makes sense. One thing I did Damn. do, and I didn't realize I did it, and my brother still does it to this day, is we mirror accents. Okay. And it's not great, and it's not intentional. <laughs> uh, but, like, uh, it was pointed out to me, uh, near where I grew up, there was a hot dog stand, and it was an old Polish lady and her husband who ran it. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know... You got in there, he did the hot dogs, the fries, and then she rings you up and gives you a drink. And she would always go like, one hot dog, one fry. And then she would say, something to drink? Yeah. Every time. And I guess I apparently always said, nothing to drink. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wasn't doing it to be funny, and I swear to God. And it was either my brother or somebody. Because, you know, when you're going to pay, you're alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's still ordering or they got their food. And I remember, I don't remember who it was, but I remember going, something to drink. And I go, no, nothing to <laughs> drink. And then I heard, what the <laughs> fuck? And I went like, what? And then I heard it. And then I heard like it was a show. I heard all the times I did it. Mm -hmm. But my brother still does do it. And he'll do it uh, to black ladies in Chicago. <laughs> and he doesn't get it. They'll go like, oh, Dan. And he'll go like this. Hey. Oh, no. And I'll go like. No way. And he'll literally go, no way, what? I, they're great. I work with them. And I go, it's the how you can't do that. <laughs> you don't greet me that way. And it'll be an out-of-body experience that we both still do. But you, most of your impressions are 
of black people. Well, I mean, I just got him down. Yeah, Eddie Murphy. I can do anybody. Oh, New Girl. What? Remember New Remember Remember your Eddie Murphy impression on New Girl? <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> what? The ice cream bit. The famous ice cream. <laughs> Wait, that was Eddie Murphy? I guess it No, was, yeah. So I nailed oh, it. It's not so, like Bobcat Gold. No, I'm a craftsman, man. I'm a craftsman. Yeah. Okay. So, so you, what, the way you do an impression is you mm -hmm. have to find one hook. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for Eddie, yeah. the hook is the laugh. Yeah. So once you got the laugh, you know, Carvey does this, Dana Carvey, you know, some of the greats, mm -hmm. you know, we all, we all find a hook. Oh, because mm. you, you and all the other legends, the impress, imp so, imp yeah, UJ Farrow, yeah, guys. yeah, the guys who really do it. That yeah. guy online right now who's killing it, who does like Stern and all those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The best, you know, what we all, when we all get together, even if we're not together, what we would think about if we were all together is we talk about the hook. Oh, okay. And for Eddie, mm -hmm. the What's, hook. How's Eddie? Go ahead. Do yeah, Eddie. yeah, yeah. So it's the, the way he says ice cream. Who goes like this? <laughs> ice cream. Oh, shit. <laughs> but you can nail, you can name me anybody and I can knock it out. James Earl Jones. Oh, James. I am Darth Vader. <laughs> so what that is, is it's the hook. Dude, what? It, yeah. How'd you do that? So it's the hook. So it, and it's a craft, man. It's a craft. All it's right. hours of hours of work. It's hours of work. It's hustle. It's grind. One, we, we, you know, us being entertainers, we do a lot of impressions, stuff like that. But no I've doubt. always found, no I've always professionally found, too. Professionally, at a high level, yeah, yeah. no one does an impression of me. Do do one of me. As I always felt slightly. <laughs> 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 Ah, Oprah like me. What? Something like that. The hook. I'm finally. <laughs> wait, 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 Jake. Jake what was Jake. he doing in that impression? Be it normal. Oh, okay. What? Keep it pro. I'm trying to. Or I leave. I'm and go to the bathroom to. and stand you upright. <laughs> and then I flip around. So I'm the upright one. You're you're standing. And I gotta hold you up? Well, no. I, wait, I'm like this, standing. my son. Wait, I'm standing. He's standing. So oh, guys, he's standing. Let's not complicate the science. No. You stand up, right? Uh -huh. The way humans stand. Yeah. I get on my hands, right? You hold my ankles. We both, you rip my pants up. <laughs> I rip your pants down. <laughs> In the middle, I at a certain point go one, two, on three, <laughs> we have we cartwheel, Wait, 180. What was the, the Wait, count? Why'd you count like that? Because I had 69 in my mouth. I could, yeah, I couldn't tell if you were 69 or you're just doing your little morning impression again. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that's because he does it. On that oh, one. Okay. <laughs> we're, almost, we're almost done here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ditch this one. In an alive scenario, would you rather eat Kyle or Lamorne first? And remember, both answers are indeed racist. So if I'm in the alive, mm -hmm. uh, you're both dead at the same time. Yeah. Uh, very skinny. Um, skinnier, but you used to be fatter, so your your muscles and everything aren't as tight. So I'm not gonna eat your arm, man. I'm, I'm, gonna, eat, I'm gonna eat that ass. You know what I mean? to say. That's a survival technique. Uh, and then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna figure out a part of your body to cut and eat. Because <laughs> hey, if I'm gonna be dying, I'm gonna have a yeah. little fun before hey. I go. What pleasure do you get out of eating a corpse's ass? Um, I don't know. It's a really good question. Let's, let's leave. have you died, yeah. me try, and then I'll tell you. Oh, no. Jake's going to leave both our asses to the end. I think what it would do for just to stay warm is I would just eat a lot of your guys' asses and hope a plane came. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> After you come, the plane yeah. will. Well, what I would do is I would go, they'd go like, sir, are you okay? And I'd go like this, come back in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't oh, got to cut. <laughs> we can't hear you. Yeah, What's yeah. in your mouth? 69, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this truck's out. Yeah. There's somebody in a helicopter is like, oh my God, there was. <laughs> the search and rescue team, they just turned back no. around. <laughs> and then they go, you know, we've seen some crazy shit in this business. We've seen plane crashes. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. <laughs> I think what I saw was, and then a partner at the bar drinking goes like, we don't talk about what we saw. <laughs> Shout out Army Hammer, man. Shout out to Army Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> he been out here doing that shit for yeah, real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's, oh, one the, of, he's one of them guys that... Yeah, he's leading I, the search. He is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> that, that news report would be amazing. Be like, after 48 hours missing, <laughs> actor Jake Johnson was found eating yeah. fellow it's, actor Lamorne Morris' yeah, ass. Yeah. So, guys, hold on. Let me explain. Jake <laughs> died of starvation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then the press conference is like, of course I'm embarrassed. I was sure I was going to die. <laughs> If you were knew you were gonna die, you tell yeah. me you wouldn't have a little fun before you got. <laughs> oh, now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> um, uh, I got one. I got one. This is just off. This is random. Um, you're a big sports guy. Yeah. 
Thank you, you grew I'm an up athlete. playing I'm an sports. Athlete, yeah. No, Dude, you're not. Have you, <laughs> to your knowledge, have you ever suffered any concussions? It's a fair question by my behavior. Um, <laughs> I've wondered. Yeah. You know, I, I definitely, I'm going to go do a, a full body scan, one of those uh, scanners. Oh, you're rich, rich. Yeah. Uh, guess what? <laughs> Partnerships. <laughs> hey, I get it. <laughs> yeah. I get what it is. I'll connect you. But. Okay, okay. And I'll tell you're you what I'm afraid of. Yeah. You know when uh, there's like a, a crocodile that it's like they like eat somebody in a village. Yeah. And then yeah. they like the village all go hunt them and they cut them open and they go like in the crocodile in the outback they found like an old tire, yeah. a microwave, <laughs> body parts of like nine humans and then they'll be like this other very strange we don't know how like the Ford Escort was in there. <laughs> what I'm really afraid of is when they they do the scam. Hopefully they come back like, we didn't see any cancer. We didn't, yeah, like, wonderful. And then they go like, there's like two big mysteries, though. Yeah. <laughs> there was like a mini microwave in your intestines. And me go like, I swear to God, I don't remember eating a microwave. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there either. I really don't. They're like, there's a harmonica in the back of your brain. I go, an actual harmonica. <laughs> no shit. And then I go like, that kind of explains a lot. So it's <laughs> pressing against my whatever. Yeah, it, pituitary yeah, gland. Get it yeah. out of there. <laughs> <laughs> um, name one movie or TV show set in New Hampshire. I don't know any. Really? You name one. Dude, I'm not a student of TV and film. You're a director, actor. You directed star. New Girl, Son. Yeah, I was pressured to. By who? The people. They were calling <laughs> you for, <begged> it. for <laughs> it. And he changed. It. When, no, when you wrote an episode, you changed. 100%. Shout you, out to Kyle, by the way. Shout out to these guys. They all helped me write that episode. Ah. Yeah. These, a shout out to the guy who ripped you off and didn't give you credit, besides saying shout out on a podcast. I couldn't. That's called payment. I couldn't. <laughs> That's called WGA. Shout out to yeah. ripping off a crew of people behind you. It's these three right here. <laughs> and, and Rob Rosell. Yeah, and Rosell. Yeah. He got the credit for yeah, it. Yeah, always. And he always. got the back end. Yeah, not a lot. Not I a didn't. Lot, not a lot. Funny enough, it was episode 420. Was it really? Yeah. Ooh. Part Shout five. out. Uh, Lamorne was different on set. He yeah. had a Bill Shakespeare vibe. I think he had a scarf. <laughs> Am I making a joke? There was something that Max and I were I had, a, ch I had a chest cold. And so <laughs> I had to have a scarf. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I was going my real Lenny Kravitz vibes <laughs> yeah, right yeah. there bro. for a day or two, and then you came back. I just wanted everybody to respect me, and yeah. you respect me, and you did not. Yeah, I gotta say yeah. a lot of a lot of uh, antics oh. and shenanigans from my fellow co-stars who you would think would give me the respect that I deserve, mm. but they didn't. Yeah. No, <laughs> no way. In fact, so, multiple people just did show up. <laughs> 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 Zoe, where are you at? <laughs> Somebody's like, not she interested. Yeah. That's why Megan Fox came in. Yeah. For a little bit. <laughs> so, She's so, like, they got Lamorne right in this shit? Like, Get pass. the fuck out of here. Uh, that was too much. <laughs> Jake, do you think you're the best Spider-Man? No, I like Tom Holland. Mm. Really? Yeah. Shout out Tom Holland. Great kid. Yeah, great, he great is. Kid. Great guy. And I like him a lot. Yeah, but you, so you wouldn't, so. we do. I do animated, so I think it's, I don't think we're, we're different things. I think uh, I don't think the animator world is connected to the three different uh, live action guys, mm -hmm. uh, but they're part of one thing and we're part of something else. That's how I see it. Do you see yourself now? Obviously, a lot of opportunities come your way uh, due to your amazing talent, your skill. I got you, my kid. Hey, you, you talk about Emmys out there in the Fargo. You know, hey, like, bro, things listen. are changing for you right now. They're you know changing. what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, we're very much. Like, no, like, Meryl things Street, are really like, Street, yeah, yeah. And they, oh, you're going to do that new Jason Reitman movie, too? Like, that's a big deal. He's a big man. He came to you of all the people getting him. You know, it's like, that's an iconic show. But I'm a part of it. But that's a build, man. That's a build. Yeah, yeah, That's my way to host a show one day, perhaps. Who's the best two sport athlete of all time? Bo Jackson. Ooh. Not even, I mean, I like Dion. Because I gave you, because there's a list. There's Bo Jackson, there's Dion's Dion cool. Sanders, Michael Jordan, or Horace Grant. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't Horace. Okay. I'm just saying. And it ain't Mike. <laughs> Ooh. He was a the 220 baseball he was a skills two, He was a 220 were, hitter. Yeah. Damn. Look. Damn. You're right. from Chicago and you shit on Michael Jordan like that? As a baseball player? Ooh. Then Dion was special. Mm-hmm. But Bo Jackson as a running back, Bo Jackson as when he was on the Royals, he fuck. There's a clip of him throwing it. He ran From, up the wall. Yeah, he fucking <laughs> ran up a wall in a baseball game, <laughs> then threw the ball. 
probably two and a half miles. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and it landed perfectly. He Unreal. Was, he could hit the ball so far. He, that was the first guy I ever saw. He used to break baseball bats on his knee when he struck out. Now everybody's on steroids and human growth and testosterone, yeah. so it's different. That's right. Yeah. Are you starting to shoot it in your ass yet? Do you have any more questions, Kyle? Uh, no, I, I, well, I want to go back to your your new podcast. Yes. How did... The house that Lamorne Morris built. built. Hey, That's what hey. we say. How did you guys come up with that? And yeah, what was so, the idea behind it? And Yeah, so Gareth Reynolds is a 20-year friend. We came up together. We used to do improv around each other and with each other. And then he started doing podcasts about a decade ago. Really quick. Wow. It's yeah. called We're Here to Help. We're Here to Help. Yeah, We're Here to Help. It's available right now. It is sweeping the nation. Right now, it's coming in at uh, top 10 in all comedy doing podcasts. Big, we're doing big numbers. Doing big, big numbers, numbers, big numbers. Uh, and all jokes aside, and I have said this to you, not on your podcast, but... And I'll get to the answer, but uh, when we started, I thought, and it's why with yours, I was like, let's do mine first and help you launch. Mm -hmm. Because when you did the new girl one, there's a big base from the start. Totally. Yeah. Well, that base doesn't automatically come. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured when we dropped the first one, we would get pretty good numbers. Mm -hmm. It was embarrassingly low. Mm. It, like shocking. And... It was like that for the second episode. We were kind of like, and you know, Gareth, mm -hmm. who's been doing this, and Kevin, our producer, was like, it's a process. And I'm like, no, this is a goofy hobby. Yeah. This is, these numbers are embarrassingly low. And I said, I'm willing to make 10, but if these numbers are this low and we're just like sitting in my closet and he's in his closet and we're like, <laughs> let me give you advice. <laughs> let me tell you for like under 10,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, I, I don't think we do this. Right. Lamorne came on one, and we still didn't really know what the show was. We were really trying to find what the show was, and it was the one with the woman whose cat's sitting and masturbated. Okay. Uh, and Classic. Lam Lamorne became the uh, comedic relief. He just really gunned, really went for mm -hmm. it, allowed himself to be like a character of himself, mm -hmm. and that one blew up and brought people to it who then stuck around, and it's grown and it's grown. But now, with a lot of our guests, we now know to say like, your role is just to clown. Yeah. Mm. So, because we didn't know what it was. Right. You know, at first you think like, well, the person comes on and now it's three people giving advice. But when our show's sincere, it doesn't work. We have a lot of episodes we've never aired. Yeah. Because then whenever we get into it, I'll go afterwards. We'll be like, cut all that. Because they're not coming for real advice. Yes. They're coming for the idea of maybe um, there's something, but it's a 30 minute comedy. But you, I got to say, you you rail it you you, you reel it in yeah because I, I can go off the the rails when yeah, I'm yeah, on your yeah. show and, yes. and that's a joy for any guest anybody who wants to do the show you should it's like fun the, yeah. it's really it's fun really it's fun. super easy and fun but I think because that's my job right that, so everybody on every and what I love about our business and everybody always has a job and sometimes you don't know what your job is mm. and I hate being on a set and realizing you guys don't know what your jobs are yet mm. you guys don't know your roles on this team you think you're all Jordan. Yeah. Or you think you're all point guards. Yeah. And then you'll realize the writers don't know, the director mm -hmm. doesn't know, you're, the camera operators always know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the crew always knows, but you're like, oh, you guys don't have this figured out. What we realized really quickly is it's my job to kind of get it set up. And then uh, Gareth just starts pitching mm -hmm. and his pitches can be bad. Then it's the guest's job to do whatever the fuck they want. And then it's kind of my job to figure out the end and host it more. Mm. Uh, but you're really good at it. And sometimes your advice is actually tip top and people, they, 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 they sometimes actually it, use sometimes it. Sometimes it works, which is the funnest hey. part of it. So yeah. we're going to put that to the test here today. Um, we want to play a quick version of We're Here to Help with you, Jake Johnson. Now, we're here to do. help the theme song. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. All the great bow, Oliver bow. Raleigh. Oliver Raleigh? Yeah. Shout out Oliver Raleigh out there. still doing it, man. Out in Bushwick making music. Out in Bushwick. Um, now, this one, this is this is this the real thing yeah, that's yeah, happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, our friend Taylor has a concert in Tokyo on the 10th. She's and, dope. Her, and her boyfriend is playing in a football game on the 11th in You're Las such a Vegas. Dork. So logistically, You're such a dork. do you think she'll You're, make it to the game one time, none Jake? None of these people are your friends. These are my friends. <laughs> Like, these are my friends. All right. So she's in Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. The 10th. Mm -hmm. He, Jeez. my guy, uh, well, I know my buddy Pat's playing. Okay. Uh, the 11th. Okay. Oh, maybe uh, they're playing in the same game. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the Super Bowl, you clown. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> what yeah, yeah. you talking about? Yeah, that's the game. I didn't want to be, I don't want to, yeah. it's, it's Hollywood. Yeah. I don't so the question names. is, will she make it? Yeah. 
You know what a private jet is, you Delta flying asshole? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't know if my Southwest seat will get me there. You think she'll get all the way from Tokyo to... Yeah. <laughs> Taylor's going to gonna finish the show. Mm-hmm. A fucking helicopter is going to lift that princess out of there, mm-hmm. take her to a little port on top of a hotel. Nice. That jet is going to go over the goddamn... Where, where is it? Vegas? Vegas. Over the water, land somewhere in the California area, mm-hmm. recharge a little bit, and mm. zip over. The whole Ooh. thing's going to take her nine and a half hours in the air, maybe ten. Really? Yeah. There might you know, there'll probably be like an island somewhere in like Hawaii. That's where they'll stop. Mm. Some little island there, they'll recharge. Mm. Now, you might be wondering how I know so much about PJs. We do. Yeah. We do wonder. Because I've been on a goddamn PJ from London to Namibia, Africa, and we stopped in the middle on some like weird little island and recharged. Hold on, hold on. With hold my on. boy Wait Tom a Cruise, minute. fuck off, end the interview. Whoa. That's it. Whoa, whoa. You treat me like a clown, man, but I ain't no clown. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. I'm not a joke, son. Wait. I'm not a fuck. Count to 10. <laughs> 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5. Yep, yeah, there it is. Four, five. Yeah. 3. Two, two, one. one. It's impossible. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's a trick. It's a trick. I tried to give you the Mississippi work. too. It's a it doesn't trick work. Cube. It's not me. It doesn't work. Um, Tell me about the Signal Awards. T- the Signal Awards. I mean, it's just one of the many awards that we've procured uh, <laughs> over our illustrious career. How many, have you won any awards as an actor? As an actor? No. You ever been nominated? Yeah. What? I've got a. I've got a Rhodes door. That's not a real award, son. <laughs> I got the Kevin Hart, uh, Hart of a. He just champion. gave you that. He just created something. And we you, did a game show that I. I doesn't count. I, uh, honestly, I've been robbed. I think I've been snubbed by the Emmys and Golden Globes. But we, for, Max and Zoe, got nominated. Mm-hmm. We never got nominated for anything. We didn't. We got a Kids' Choice Award. <laughs> we did. <Yes. laughs> a Kids' Which Choice. Is just as good. Yeah, yeah. Mine was it's just different. a nomination. Did you win it? We whatever it does is the same. Okay, well that's our show, everybody. <laughs> Jake, before we let you go, Jake, can yes, you sir. do me a solid? Always. Can you look under your seat? I got a little gift you, for you. You Oprah, your guests? I I met she Oprah. Hangs she hangs out for with us. her now. Gifts he for this. She so it. only if you do it like Oprah and you create a tradition where you give everybody yeah. a gift. Every guest on the show will get a gift. Something very special, something very sentimental. Oh, I got this just oh, for you, Jake. Shit. I thought did a part of you think there was nothing under there? Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, there was sure. gonna be like a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I got two chains okay. under my chin. <laughs> okay, and it's wrapped. Did That's you do right. the wrapping? Oh yeah. Duh. I don't believe that part. That's fair. Because <laughs> I did <laughs> Shout out to Sam. Ooh. Oh. I haven't seen it. Is this the right direction? No, the other way. Yeah, yep, there you go. That is the right direction. This now, this before you t- before you take a look at it, Jake. Yeah. This photo here is someone who is very significant in your life. Someone that I know to be true <laughs> for a fact. Should we have so, him take a guess? Take take a guess because he he's probably looking at Kinda. it in the reflection. Ah! <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah, Joey. <laughs> you have to tell everyone who that is because they're not going to know. You know who I thought it was at first was Crumholtz. David Crumholtz. I saw here, and it looks kind of like me and Crumholtz. Yeah, you, where you're kind of like twin brother, your doppelganger. If you see that, and I was like, "Got me a photo of Crumholtz." You just sent it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Perla was yeah. uh, the uh, he. He and I were just texting. He's mm. mad at me. Oh yeah, why? <laughs> because I didn't have him on self reliance. Oh, and his partner mm-hmm. so now i'm going to talk directly to joey perla okay so joey perla did wardrobe on new girl mm-hmm. he was the best thing on that show and his boss deborah mcguire mm-hmm. has not hired him back wow. Oh, wow so joey has not been working under somebody but joey was so great for us oh yeah and really did like unthinkably he was so funny and warm and did his job yeah did everything like his wardrobes were perfect for the guys mm-hmm. uh but when i'm doing these indies the way the budgets are working mm-hmm. is you hire a head of department mm-hmm. and i've said can joey perla come on and they go like well that would mean we'd have to fire one of our people mm-hmm. and i'm like it just becomes a really hard thing and he wants me to have a personal but it's really weird as a man who dresses like me <laughs> to have a personal. And then he'll say, like, well, women do it all the time. And I'm like, yeah, and they wear fucking gowns. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm wearing my pants from home <laughs> 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 and trying to justify a personal. So, Joey, Perla, I love you. 
Uh, hopefully, we're going to find something soon. And if you're looking for the best mm -hmm. uh, wardrobe, what is the proper title? Or I guess um, wardrobe head of person. Head wardrobe of wardrobe? So he's not the head. He like he stylist. No, oh. he set, set, wardrobe. set wardrobe, set, set costumes. Wardrobe. Yeah, set costumes. There we go. The best set costume in the business. Mm -hmm. And I mean, will you back me up on? I, that? I can definitely back as you up as good as it there. gets. In fact, fun thing about yes. Joey, Joey himself would do wardrobe changes. Yes. Do you remember <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, remember yeah, shooting yeah. on the Queen Mary? Yes. And he dressed up like he had two different sailor boy oh. outfits. Yes. Oh, <laughs> and he would do it during his lunch. Yeah. yeah but yeah, then yeah. the second half of the day, he would bring everybody would be in a better mood. Oh yeah. So if you are making a show and you loved a new girl mm -hmm. and you're a boss now, yes, and you don't hire him, mm -hmm. you've screwed up. Joey Perla. Perla. You the guys best heard in it here. Bits. Jake's putting all three of us in his next movie. That's yes. awesome, yes. dude. Thanks so much. Yeah, First yeah, of all, before we end, that. I'm going to say that's bullshit because Jake has never put me in any one of his movies. That's our time. Um, I got a question. Yeah. I got a question for real. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk. You want to talk? It. Let's get it off our yeah. chest. You might be in some trouble on this. Because okay. I'm <laughs> but <laughs> but mm -hmm. let me show you. Let me give you an option. You tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. You're a producer. Yeah. You're a businessman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You do this game. Yeah. There's a movie coming up. It's a little horror movie, mm -hmm. right? Smart. Yeah. The script is smart. Yeah. I gave some notes. The writer is real. Mm -hmm. Think about shooting in Chicago. Okay. Dope. Yeah. Joe Swanberg might come on. We're going to come on, but we're going to produce it together. Okay. Now, I want the truth here. Yeah. I'm looking at maybe playing with the cops. I've never done the horror thing. It seems fun to me. Okay. The script's pretty good. We're not mm -hmm. the leads. Okay. The woman's the lead, but we're the cops. We're in it. We're in an investigation, mm -hmm. but it's serious. Yeah. The cop has another cop. Mm -hmm. All the scenes are these two cops together. Mm -hmm. It's not our bits. Right. But we're cops. Could that be funny? Of course. Mm -hmm. If I offered you that, are you taking it? The money is pretty small. Mm -hmm. The indies that I do are... There's no trip. There's, you know, where, where do you change clothes? Wherever mm -hmm. you can. Mm -hmm. Shoots to Chicago would take about 10 days, 11 days. If that comes to you via a script through your agent, what are you saying? I'm busy doing this podcast. <laughs> <honestly>. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, what I'm saying. I wish I could be there for you, my man. <laughs> Big shout out to whatever y'all trying to do. But I don't have the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm just busy. I yeah, don't have the bandwidth. Yeah, yeah. And then you go out there and you go, he didn't cast me. He didn't yeah. cast me. Mm -hmm. these, are the real, these are the real digits on the real streets. This is what's really happening. Denzel Washington said, it's not what you say yes to. It's what you say no to. <laughs> right? And that's why. I so then him. as Denzel, mm -hmm. do you want to do this movie? <laughs> yes. I very much so like that. Do you think you'd do it? 20 million. No. Very little money. Put back end if we were like twenty dollars, bro. Back end. Do you do it? Back end. Yeah, you absolutely. You would. Yes. And would we do bits in it, or would we try to make? I'm a serious actor now. Have you seen Fargo? Yeah, I know bro, you're my, I'm fucking my work at Fargo is it's the best work. Do Everyone's you been think talking about we, the best. Is that work. would be helpful for the movie, or would we be a distraction? Uh, Being real talk. I'm, I'm, real talk. Yes. Why not? It Let's would. Get real. It would be great for the movie. As a distraction, <laughs> yeah. it would for sure be a distraction because that's a double. I agree. That's a two, listen. And also, we would do our press together, right? And oh. the problem with that is, is that this would be the fifth time I've played a cop. You, this would be the second time you've played a cop. Let's I'll just be play cops. a bartender. I'll play a bartender too. Every time I do that, I'm a bartender. Cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you are a bartender and a cop, <laughs> yeah, cop. and everything. <laughs> uh, but so let's talk turkey for a second. Yeah. If the the next draft I'm getting of the script should be Friday. Mm -hmm. If it's good, I got some people who are looking to put money into it. Mm -hmm. I have not committed. Are you going to put some money into it? Uh, I don't think I'm going to self-finance. I want to mm -hmm. play the other game. I want to produce it. Mm -hmm. uh, I will make sure you have back end as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we will do our press together. The two ladies will do theirs, but we will do our stuff to do it. Okay. If that happens and schedule works, are you a yes? If Andy Sandberg's no, not in it, no, then I'm good. no, 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 <laughs> no. Do you see what happens with this little rat? There's stipulations. I know, no, There's stipulations. I know him. No. I know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? You're, it's like, you know, oh, Lamorne, you're in the movie, but all of a sudden, you got, I got some people in the movie that I don't vibe with. What? Yeah. You see how crazy he is? You got mental stuff. You're then, not. What Ooh. about my trailer? 
No trailers, son. What about the things that I need? You ever go to set and they don't I'm have cash shoes? I'm not hiring Mariah they don't fucking fucking Carey. Have shoes. I'm hiring Lamore Morris. Yeah, I'm you not Mariah wanna, play ball. If you want to be Mariah Carey, you got to be Mariah Carey. So if you're Mariah, let me hear Mariah. <laughs> See, I hear Lamore. I hear Lamore. That's pretty good. Merry Christmas, bitch. That's pretty good. <laughs> And a happy holidays to you all. Please tune in to the very next episode of We're Here to Help, which is available now. Um, again, it's one of the greatest podcasts of all time, second to the morning after. With a follow-up guest being Mariah Carey. <laughs> uh, I love you, Jake. I love you too, buddy. All right, thanks, man. Love you, Kyle. Love you too. Love you too, Jake. Really nice to meet Thanks, you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I met you eight years ago. Also, I want to just pitch. I'll buy my own spirit flight. I just want to play a cop in the background eating a donut. And you guys are like, fuck off. <laughs> I like that you pitch spirits. Yeah. I'll buy it. Um, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Thank you, guys.